Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. I am down Atlantic Street today, which is pretty close to the uh, Florence Beach. We're going to fly this Autel Evo Nano. So I have it all booted up. We will start a screen recording. And enter the Autel app. Okay, it's saying safe to fly. What is going on here? One second, guys. My gimbal is not working for some reason. I'm going to reboot it. Aircraft disconnected. Okay. So we'll get out of that app. It seems my gimbal is messed up. My gimbal is not working. Wow, it's a brand new drone. Let's uh, see what's going on here. Aircraft disconnected. Power that transmitter back off. Not sure Proceed what's happening here. The gimbal is jammed. There we go. There was something sticking the gimbal. It was stuck, like, I mean really stuck. It's like there was something in there forcing it stuck. So let's power it back up. Hopefully there's nothing wrong with us. Let's power the aircraft back on. Uh, there's no warranty purchase with this, but I, I'd imagine Autel would probably replace it, being that it's only a couple of days. Yeah, it's working now. Okay, good. Okay, guys, that uh, had me worried there for a moment, being a, being a brand new drone. There we go, it's working now. So yeah, it was, it was stuck. It was like there was something in behind the gimbal, and it didn't want to move and I had to twist it by hand so okay let's uh, take off here so we know that uh, Point has been refreshed. it'll stop recording if I record before I take off okay put it on video and start recording, start recording. and up we go So we'll fly down towards Florence Beach here for a second. Put the camera down just slightly here. There we go. It's been a while since I've flown down this way, guys. I'm only 36 meters up. Let's uh, pick it up a little higher. There's a ton of little black flies around here. So there you go, that's Florence Beach. Let's circle around. Great spot to swim there, guys. And it turns out that's a provincial park. So the cool thing about down this area is the point I'm coming towards facing now has a barracks out on it. Mm -hmm. 
can hear lots of that down this way, dirt bikes. We'll fly over that way a little bit. Okay, I thought it was that peak. It's not that one, it must be the next one. Yeah, it's the next one over there, guys. I can just barely see it. We will uh, face up that way. And we'll give a little zoom in. Black fly on me. So we'll zoom in two times. Pick the camera up a little more. And we'll zoom to four. Yeah, there you go. It's out on that point. And you can't get out to that anymore. Uh, I guess if you really wanted to bad enough and wanted to, to attempt it, you could, but it's pretty dangerous. There's not a lot of land there. It's very skinny, the uh, path to get out to it now. And there used to be a set of stairs, I believe, on the back side of it, and they ended up falling off, so. You guys can see where I'm at down here now. This little drone flies some good guys. One of the best drones I own. It does have the better camera out of all of what I own. I would choose this. So this is uh, Atlantic Street, I believe the name of it is. Just fly up a little bit. So I'm gonna spin you guys around here so I can keep eye on that drone. Now I've made a video down here, geez, gotta be over a year ago, guys. There is an old steel plant right around where I'm facing now. See if we can find the foundation to it. It's right around here somewhere. Ah, uh, there we go. Straight up ahead. Top screen. Just about 300 meters away. There you go, guys. Pretty much right below me there now. There is the old foundation for the steel plant. And I made a video there quite a while back talking about that steel plant. I believe it was the first in Canada. First of its kind in Canada. It's pretty cool. Not too much left of it though, guys. It's pretty wiped out. Let's come back to me here. Little flies are bad around this area. <clears throat> Great little drone, guys. I would highly, highly recommend this drone. I know I said that about Seafly, but I've been recently getting some issues with that Seafly drone. And like I said before, I usually just fly them the first time during the review. And I tell it as I see it, guys. If it works good during the review, I, I recommend it. Just pulling a little circle me here. We're down to 72% battery. Nice strong signal. Let 
Okay, I'm going to spin back around this way. There we go. And now we'll head over this way a bit. So let's put it in ludicrous mode. It's the highest speed it has. Gains more altitude. That's 82 meters high. So there's that peak. Laura and I come down here one day a few summers back and we walked out in the water up where I'm facing now to try and get to that uh, old set of barracks. But being there's no stairs there anymore, we couldn't get up to it and we didn't go right around the peak anyway. The water was starting to get a little bit deep. Check out that reflection off the water, guys. Looks great. Okay, so I'm down to 66%. We're gonna end this flight here. I wanna get a thumbnail pick while I have this in the air. Actually, I can do so while I'm filming. I forgot about that. That is a great feature about this drone. If you look on the app here, you can see there's a button right there to push, and that will take a picture just like so. So pretty cool. Very cool. I'm going to get over this way and take another snapshot because I'd like to get the beach in the view too. So we'll snap another one. And there we go. So okay guys, I'm going to end this here. I hope you enjoyed today's little flight. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Leave a like, leave a comment, share the video with your friends, helps us out. And uh, that being said, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.